Okay, question 10. Lugworms live on the seashore in dark, moist burrows under the sand. The graph below shows the average number of lugworms at different distances from the seawater at low tide. We have got our average number of lugworms um, going up the side, and then we've got the distance from the seawater at low tide. Now, there's obviously been a little bit of a wobble here in terms of how these have spaced out. I'm assuming my zero should actually be there. Okay, describe the relationship between the distance from the seawater at low tide and the average number of lugworms. It's worth two marks. You've basically just got to describe both of them. So what we've got at zero, nothing. And then you can see it goes up until we hit a point where it suddenly goes or stops going up and goes flat. That's my two points that I need to put in to my explanation to get the two marks. So at no distance, there are no logworms. And as you increase distance, okay, you don't need to do this little bit here where you get just one kind of creeping in. But as you increase distance, you increase the number of lugworms until you reach, and I'm assuming this is 12, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, yeah. Okay, so as we reach 12 metres, then it remains the same. It would be nice if you put a number in against that. Okay, so it remains the same at 29 lugworms per metre squared. Okay. Calculate how many times greater the average number of lugworms at 11 metres is compared to 7. Right, this is where it's going to get a little bit dodgy with this graph not being perfect. But okay, here's 11. Me counting back to work that one out. Okay, taking this over. That's it. So at 11, it's 27. Okay, at 7, right, remember that's actually 0. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 is actually here. Oh, actually, that makes it a bit nicer. Here we go. There's 9. Okay, so at 7, it was 9, and I'm just looking for, do that, do 27 divided by 9, 3 times greater. Okay, Dover sole and Rex sole are different species of flatfish and are predators of lugworms. Curlews, which are a species of wading bird, also feed on lugworms. Complete the table below by placing a tick in the correct box to show the type of competition that would occur between different predators. Okay, so you can't do this unless you're absolutely clear on these definitions. Inter-specific is between, okay, like international flights go between two different countries, so inter is between, and intra is inside, okay, or within the species. So it's only individuals of the same species that are going to be intra-specific, and individuals of different species are going to be inter-specific. So the rex sole and the curlew, well, they are different things, so inter, curlew and curlew, intra, Rexel and Doverso in ter, because these are different species. Okay, even though it's types of sole that it says here are different species of flatfish. Okay. A curlew gains an average of 165 kilojoules of energy daily by feeding on lugworms. Select from the appropriate following list the value of the energy which is used for growth each day by the curlew. Okay. Right, you just need to know this. Okay, you should know that when you go up a food chain, so when you start with the producer. And then you go to your primary consumer and on to your secondary. And let's just say that's the top of the food chain because I'm running out of space. You should know that we have transfer of energy wise. This is about 10% and then this is again 10%. You can kind of using up 90% of it. But this says used for growth. That is the stuff that will get passed on. So we are looking for 10% of 165, so 